Okay, so we've got a 3D pyramid here, and we've got lots of triangles going on, and we're asked to calculate. Um, given all sorts of things, we're told this is the midpoint, and we also want to calculate the size, the size of the angle between ED and the plane ABC. Well, ED looks like this. ED is up here. And the plane, well, it's that bottom bit along there, and where this bit also forms a right angle there. That's what it's looking for. It's looking for this angle in here, so let's call this theta. So we've got to do a couple of calculations here. I'm going to start with triangle like this. I'm going to start with a triangle, and we know there's a right angle in there. And I'm going to work out this side. I'm going to work out the side x here. And so that for that's my d, that's my c, and I'm actually going to use b. So I'm going to be using this triangle. Let's kind of try and make it a bit clearer. I'm going to be working with that triangle up there to start with. Let's get that off. And therefore, that's 22. And it's 10 along here. And I want to find out that x. Well, this is the opposite. This is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse, so that's the one I don't want. So I want TOA using a bit of normal trigonometry because it's right angle triangles. I know I want to find O, so O is equal to T times A, or in my case, X is equal to tan 22 times by 10. So let's just do that on my calculator. Turn 22, close my brackets, times by 10 equals x is equal to 4.04026225. And I'm not going to round that, I'm going to leave that uh, unrounded, leave that as an answer button on my calculator. So I now know that one. I'm going to switch colours. I'm now going to work on. I'm now going to work on the flat triangle, the ones on the base. I'm going to go from this middle point down to B. I'm going to go from B up to C, and then I'm going to go across there. That one that's on the base. Now that's the one I'm looking at. And I'm going to do that with red, and I'm going to use that to find out. I'm going to call that Y the base from E to C. I'm going to work at. So, well, let's draw it out because it might be a little bit easier. That's my right angle. It's on the base, so it doesn't look like a right angle. And then, oops. And then with this side, there is E, which is the middle of the base. This is B. And this is C. And this is the Y I want to work out. I know that's half of that. Let's just kind of get the picture up so we can see what's going on. This bit here is 5, which is the bit I worked out. We know the diagonal of the hypotenuse is 10. So I'm going to use a bit of Pythagoras here. So I know that y squared is going to be 10 squared minus 5 squared. So y squared is going to be equal to 75, or y is equal to the square root of 75 which is equal to 8.660254038. So I've now worked out what the y is. So if I get rid of the highlight now, and that allows me to find, if I just look along the base there, look up to the peak up there, and down there, I've got the x and the y. And that allows me to find out this 
theta. Or you might just see a fly flying onto the calculator camera. It's very interesting. Um, so now x and y, and that allows me to find my theta. So let's change pen, so it's working purple now. And then my final, final. One there, this is my right angle up here. Where well, this is now E, this is C, and this is D. That was my X I calculated first, that's my Y. Okay, and again, I want to work out the angle here, theta. So I'm kind of looking at this sideways now. So I'm looking at this triangle kind of side on. Well, we can see this is another tangent problem, isn't it? So I know that tan theta is equal to the first answer I got, the x divided by y. So I'm going to use the exact answer I can on my calculator. I've still got the 4, you can just see on my calculator, I've still got the 4, the x value at the 4.041. So I'm going to do so that. I'm going to do the answer that I got divided by well this answer to give the exact answer was the square root 75 so let's just use square root 75 under there and that gives me 0 0.46652930005 so therefore to work out what my theta is I'm going to use inverse tan And I'm going to use the answer button on my calculator now because it's now changed because it's done a new calculation. So shift turn answer. And I get theta to be 25.01043013. And I've left this as exact this is exact as possible we can get because I've not rounded any answers yet. It says to the nearest degree. So to the nearest degree, this is closest to 25 degrees. That took me seven minutes to have a go at that, but that's a five mark question. That's the kind of speed you should be able to do it yourself.